I'm trying to I'm trying to like talk to you and yeah. say something real because like actually when I first heard the beat for Eurostep, my thought was, you can't fuck this up. The only way you fuck this up is if you don't write a song that's like somewhat good because the beat was so good. I was like, it's already a hit. Like just don't fuck this up. Yeah. See this, my producer sent me the beat for your step. You know when you hear one of those things and immediately it just made me want to do this. So it was just like, I, I have to write, I have to write a song to this. So I, I, I guess I just felt really inspired by it. It took a few months for it to go viral. And so I think when we released it, well, it went viral twice. The first time that I, it went viral was before it came out. So I had posted like a seven second stupid video of me like headbanging to the beat, like the day that I had written the hook. And so that went on TikTok and then it went crazy. And so overnight, when I woke up the next morning, I was more stressed out because it was like virality for nothing. It was like, it's viral, but there's no song for people to listen to. So I was like panicking, like, okay, well, I got to write the rest of this thing and put it out. And so when I put it out, it was doing well, but it wasn't like viral or anything. So it was out for maybe like two months, three months. The reel that I think made it go viral or took it to another level at least was uh, Manchester United had posted it. And I'm not a big soccer fan, so I like, I didn't know about it until fans had sent it to me. Like like people in Europe who obviously like, care more about soccer than I do. Um, they had sent it to me and so I saw they did it. And then after Man U posted it, Premier League, their account posted it as well. And then after that, I had, I noticed that the song started going even crazier on reels. Hey, started from Cali and now I got bitches in Europe, they singing my shit. Remember it's never the critic who counts. That's just the way that it is. Huh. Tell me, why would I listen to you on this shit when you never could do what I did? Ahead of the curve. For me to put pen down the paper, you gotta show me that you know what I'm worth. Own all my masters, I'm never signing a 360. I had initially received an email from them at like 11 p.m. at night, and I thought it was fake, because it was like, Request for Eurostep, ESPN, NBA on TNT, all, all this stuff, right? And then I, I ran downstairs because I was visiting my parents at the time, and I asked my dad. I was like, "Yo, can you look up this email on LinkedIn?" Because I didn't know if it was real, and it turned out to be real. So I hopped on to a, a, a meeting with them that same night. They were fans of the song in terms of how it would fit and what they needed to use, and like, of course, for me, I'm like. Like, I'll do it for free. Obviously, like yeah. me just being like, this is a bucket list thing for me. You could tell me that I win a Grammy or that my song would be on NBA and like me as a lifelong basketball fan, like that's the cooler thing for me. I know where I'm going. I believe in where I'm going. And so my mentality is just like, I'm gonna be around for a long time. I'm gonna have lots of songs come out. And so if you mess with it, amazing. I love you, thank you. And welcome, welcome to you know, to the family. If not, it's cool. I'll be around for a long time. So eventually you'll figure it out. If I want it, I just make it happen. If I speak it, it's already done. done. Gotta, confess. Gotta confess. Everything coming my way. I'm